think it might have hit the breaker at the house. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, don't worry about these sunglasses. They're temporary. That's Rob's silhouette right there, actually. He's waiting patiently. Jumper cables, you know what those are good for? Jumping stuff. I swear, every time, every time I get with this dang guy, something happens. So the boat is out of power right now. It's not It's not working. I gotta lift the trim or, or the, uh, the trim. It's dead, so I'm not sure what happened. Just called Fun and Son, they said, Make sure to connect positive, positive, negative, negative on trolling motor battery. Should be able to get a little juice. Once it fires, alternator kicks in, then you're good to go. We were ready to hit the water. We got a nice, calm, smooth day here, and then you, that happens. So, part of it, y'all, part of it. But we're gonna get it figured out. Rob, it's time to get in there and, and get it dirty and not get shocked. Can you see the yeah, positive over there? Yeah, this side's positive right here. Well, let's do the easiest one first. That got a little spark there. Okay. Don't touch your face with it. So what do you want me to do with it? Uh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just unhook first, because this one's easier. Where's your camera? It's recording. It's recording my face right now. Now, Turkla, hopefully no explosions. Okay, we're connected, so should be getting some power, or we can hopefully uh, get this thing trimmed up, get it in the water, get it started, and continue on. Oh yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, okay, we're gonna leave those hooked up. Then we're gonna put it in the agua. <laughs> we're gonna get it going eventually. You know, I never, I never quite, uh, I never quite made it on the tour. This might be why. Wow, it's had a lot of water here in Texas lately. I think it's caused some problems. Moment of truth about to happen. See if we can get this thing to fire. I hope so. That'd be a bad thing. Come on, baby. Okay. It's a no-go. Crap. Not getting much out of it. Okay, ladies and gents. Me and Rob are fishing our way into power. We're literally waiting for the batteries to, uh, whatever you call it, transfer the power. Uh, we're trying to target some smallmouth today. Uh, the water temps, haven't turned on the graphs yet, but if they're over 57, that's wonderful. It probably means that they're they're really doing it and spawning because it's full moon. If not, it's below that, then probably got some ones that are thinking about it. But it, either way, I know they live here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have kind of played around here for an hour or so. My uh, trolling motor is seeing some effects it's going down it's not looking having electrical problems today so uh we're gonna attempt to kick on the old engine here now we can go somewhere else well we got the motor started fishing a point here but trolling motor now seems to be dying we're gonna have to go to the dam because we're, we're losing power and uh, I'd kind of like to stay fairly close. This water is about 10 degrees colder than what I thought it was gonna be. So that, or we go into one of these creeks so that it's warmer. Well, we've, we've traveled the lake a little bit and uh, discovered that the warmest water we can find right now is 49. Just ran up in a creek, pretty good ways. Water's so muddy back here though. Just don't think it's good. Or we just fish really slow like that guy in a pocket and just gets snagged on a rock. Yeah. He's probably just sitting there because it's out of the wind. But honestly, that looks like the worst pocket ever. Whoa. Okay, hello. Hey, how you doing? Got him. Oh, I just got hammered. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Dude, it hammered me. Oh, it's a striper. Oh my gosh. It's a big one. No, I have it. It just hammered me. Hammered me on a crow. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Oh, dude, there's more. There's more down there. I, I just need to. <sighs> God. Oh my gosh, this thing freaking cranked it. We got one, we got one of these fish here. Jesus. 
<laughs> Dude, I'm just cast. Sorry, I was They're big. making a freaking deposit. <laughs> Uh, I, How big is he? Dude, look at the graph. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if those are striper or smallmouth, but that's a big old striper. that is a big that's striper, nice buddy. Get him in here. Get him in here. Get him in here. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, look at the fr I got, I've got it on, on spot lock, so we haven't moved. Dude, are you kidding me? On a freaking crawfish rattle trap? Uh, I got 12 pound test. This is like, this is extreme fights right here. Oh man, getting the old six stick a workout, bro. Oh, I think I got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Easy. I think I got it. I mean, this guy's. Look how big it is. Come here. Give me your face. Give me your face. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at the bait. What are we doing here? I'm, th I'm throwing a lipless. Bait, I, I got hit once and I was like, oh, that's probably a, a smallmouth. And then I just got sh freaking stroked by this thing. It's only 20 feet. This fish is cold, man. Cold. Holy cow. I mean, I'll take a daggum. I'll take a fight from one of those things. <sighs> nice surprise there. Okay, Rob's hooked. Does it feel big? Does it, does it feel big? It, feel like it, it could be a smallmouth. No, it's a striper. <laughs> it's going, dude. They might be together. They could be together. Those head shakes are big, though. Those head shakes are freaking big. Dude, we got to get a double picture. We're going to get a double picture. I, don't, I can't even fit this in my live well, dude. Dude, we are, we are on the juice. I, I know, I know. It's got to be a striper. Yeah. <laughs> Hook fell out and I got him. I knew he was about to come off. Dude, we just got freaking cracked. Cracked with two, that feels two good. strappers right there. I'm not going to lie. That feels really good. That feels really good. That makes me feel good. I'll take that all day. And you caught him on a lipless. Yeah. 20 foot of water. Yeah. Hey, that's what these smallmouth were doing a couple years ago. All yeah. this rod just gets flung out there like crazy. That bait right there is like 10 feet down. It just stops. It just stops. Right there. It's like, I'm on a rock, but it's moving. Starts zinging. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good idea. There's some below us right now. I guarantee if you had a dude, we get a, if you had a slab. A slab? I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put a slab on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a slab. We do need to put a slab. I don't know if you can get it on that quick, but we need to have it ready. Oh, oh, oh! Yes. Oh, I heard that. Her drag. Oh, the drag has slipped. I have flip. I have no drag. Oh, oh. hey, Whoa. hey, where are you going? Okay, <laughs> welcome to the program. Okay, I have a big one. Yeah, let's go. That's wow. Right. Okay. Last time we up. Oh. Yeah, I threw it kind of out left. Oh. Zig, 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 zig. Yeah. That's what I oh man, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Oh. It's a zinger. Oh, it's not as big as the last one. It's not as big as the last one. I just had my drag kind of loose. I like when you're fishing a crankbait and it just stops. Get crushed. Boosh! Now I'm kind of thinking like, what else would they eat? Because we're literally just throwing bass lures. God, they get, once they see the boat, it's just, it's over. Nothing like it, baby. This six stick. This is a 7.4 medium, medium heavy. You can freaking whip a crankbait a mile. And it's just like a shock absorber. Look at him. He's like, I want to let, I want to get it out of my face, but I can't. There's too much rebound. Oh, yeah. Mm, there we go. That's fun. I don't care who you are. That's fun. That's probably a, I don't know, six or seven pounder. The old swirly. Look at this. That's what I've been catching them on. <laughs> Look Dude, at that. it just just freaking <laughs> hammered it. Look at it. Dude, Dude you're straight bent. I'm you're straight. just straight bent right now. Power. Wow. You found. No way. This is on the one. This is on that one. This is on that one. Holy cow, dude! First cast. Oh you were gosh. getting. You were getting taken. Go to the back of the boat, bro. <laughs> dude, I. He's going out to deep water. I'm gonna lose the drag just a tiny. Yeah, you may want to lose it because when they see the boat, it just, it just starts rocks. ripping. 
Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Look at him. Dude, that's so fun. That's... Um, Rob got walloped first cast with that crankbait that we pulled up off the bottom. This thing has made a full circle around the boat now. What if, what if he's an absolute mondo of a striker? That wasn't a big crankbait. No, it wasn't. It, it was just in that six foot range. Yeah, he's bigger than the last one for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the fun fights. Dude, it's gone. Look at these things. Crankbait's gone. Look at that. The crankbait is gone. It's he inhaled. has all of them gone. Dude, what pound test you got on there? Pretty light. Um, huh? 12 or 15. 15. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, bro. That's nice. Oh, look at him. He wanted it. Dang, man. <laughs> that is sick. There we go. That, that is that lure we found. Or you, well, you basically caught it. I caught it. You I'm caught pretty proud lure. of that one. I'm gonna go ahead and just clip it and take it out the easy way. All right, I'm gonna need some help here holding his mouth open. Okay. Oh. Mondo. You wanna take a photo for me? Heck yeah. See ya, baby. See ya. That's fun. That's more than fun. <laughs> old dude right here. Guy. Thank God I changed out those hooks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> First cast just gets crushed. And then... Jeez. Was this slab? No, it was a lipless crank. Oh, oh yeah. Got him? Yep. They're back. I don't think it's a showstopper. I just saw the boil out there. Oh, wow. See that long cast? Oh, it came off. Yep, yeah, came off. Got him. Yeah. Yep. I don't think my drag's not set, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Hello. Open your mouth. Got a little weight. Dude, that is. Dude, that's a freaking tank. That's a long one, bro. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, choke that. That's a Frank. That's a Frank. That look at look how gone. It. Yeah. Good thing oh. you changed the hooks. Jeez, dude. Look how long that one is. That is for sure the longest one of the day. Let's get a picture. Dude, look, oh my God. It's as long as your leg. That is huge. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, so much fun. That we is 100% a smallmouth. We now have smallmouth, yep. It's not a striper. It's coming up. It's a good smallie, It's a good smallmouth. <laughs> yes, Texas smallmouth, baby. <laughs> There we go. Oh, that is a good yeah, smallie. I told you, buddy. That is a big old smallie. I told you, buddy. <laughs> That's a giant smallmouth. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> sorry, sorry. I got excited. You want to get up for me? Don't slag him. Tell me. Nice fish. <laughs> That's a slab smallie That's a on slab. a slab. Smallie on a slab. Look at that. Look hey. at that, baby. What about a football? <laughs> <sighs> Gotta love it. It's a thick, thick smallmouth. It's awesome. When they hammer down, there's just... There's, there's, no, there's, there's fast. I think he's actually eating it. Like he actually said, I want that. I want that in my stomach. Well, you want to stick your hand down there for uh, me again? You got uh, such a tiny mouth. The pliers might be... But... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Here just go. another tanker. There's another one. All right. <laughs> you know, all I really want is a freaking tank of a small one. I'm telling you, this is the way to do it. This really is the way to do it. It's they, like a five. They hang around these drivers. I don't know, he hit it and just swam under the boat. And I was like, hello. Welcome to the show. Definitely a striper. <laughs> uh, so, hooked up on a slab right now. Me and Rob have been throwing slabs on this wall right here. Kind of a Kind of a cool story for you guys while I'm fighting this fish. My biggest smallmouth till, still to this day has come from this lake fishing uh, slabs or spoons on these big uh, rock ledges like this. Super efficient way to fish deep water. You know, there's different stair steps coming out. There's like a drop from 10 to 20, 20 to 40. And uh, Rob just caught that smallmouth and also, doing the uh, same thing. Mother. And you will catch Mother Earth too, for sure. 
Um, I'm just getting, I'm getting the old LFG rod bent right now. Wow, hello. Hello on the drag. Oh, turn yeah. that way. He's coming, he's coming up. That's a good, good size. Did you hit him right in the top of the head? I might have. Did you see that? Dude, he hit it and he like. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He just, ooh. Barely, look at oh, that. I think he's got it. No, nope. no, nope, it's in the top of his head, you're right. Come here, give me your face. Give me your face. It's hard to grab your face when there's no lure in it. It's literally just a slab of lead with a hook on it. That's all it is. And we're just, as soon as this hit in the bottom, we're jigging it up and we're letting it fall down that edge. And there's the striper and there's some smallmouth mixed in. Woo, man, that's, whoa! You tickled him back to life. That's yeah. just so fun. If you guys take a look right here, take a look at this. You're gonna see there's one of those fish like off the ledge. So anyway. Ooh, mammy rod. Uh, battery problems. Guys, I apologize. These, it's not me. It's not my look, trust me. I'm not trying to be skeet reset here. It's just, it's the only ones I could pick up at the, uh, the MTB house today. Since Parrick broke my other ones, still gotta get another pair. Okay, we're out of power. It's not good. Rob's on a drop shot up there, just trying to send one home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to crank. I just put the, um, put the deals on, put the old cables on, trying to run a little power. If it does, you, want, you just wanna go on if it cranks? Okay, confirmed, we will. Okay, there's nothing. Um, <laughs> not a single lick of nothing? Huh, not good, not good at all. Please, Come on. please, start. Yeah! Oh, that's a good feeling. I think we end on this good stroke of luck here with the motor starting. And when, okay, there's a spark. Um, when you get a sign, you get a sign. Sometimes that sign is go in and have a sandwich. Thank you, Point. Ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully made it back to the boat ramp. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That is a good feeling. I'm gonna take these ridiculous things off. I'm gonna bear the sun just for you guys, just so you don't remember me. Your last moments with me for the day aren't like that. Me and Rob came out today and uh, we were kind of going for some smallmouth, but then uh, things were getting a little tough. We said, you know what? Let's just, let's just start rolling around, trying some different things. And then we found this great point that had these big, big striper feeding on it and almost always out here on this lake you got small mouth mixed in there i mean have you ever caught striper that big it was One. like 12 or 13 right over there oh well it was over here yeah, same place there. i was gonna say like that's some of the that, biggest I, consistent that was that was the longest striper i've ever caught in my life yeah that one that was like long as your leg it was yeah that's the longest striper i've ever caught in my life. we were like let's just stay down with the stripers today because that's maximum fun and we might end up catching a small mouth and you freaking pit. he caught a football a nice chunky football uh, go check out his channel if you want to see more. Anyways, guys, a lot of fun today. Subscribe right here to this channel if you want to see more. If you like these sunglasses, let me know in the comments. If you don't, I already know that you don't. And one more thing here. If you want to check out these slabs because uh, they are a really good thing to have in your tackle box. You're talking about deep water fishing this time of year. Uh, they're like a dollar. You can pick them up at a bunch of different places. Search them online. I think those are called silver dollars. It'll be the best dollar or two you ever spend when you're trying to fish deep water. Stripers, smallmouth, good day.